New to Dragon 2.0 is the navigation line or nav line. You get to the navigation line by bringing your cursor into the animation window and you see it appears there. And it has a pretty straightforward interface. You have a, a playhead that you can grab and cycle through your frames. You have a end of play, basically an out point, and you've got an in point. And as soon as you move these, this controls what area will play back. So you can see this is going to play back from frame 11 to 24. I hit play on the keypad. That's going to limit the playback. It's great if you need to just show somebody uh, just a section of a scene, review a segment of animation with the director, something like that. It's a great way you can just quickly um, reduce what area you want to show. Now, if you're all the way out here in your live view, you can use the endpoint um, as an animation tool and that may maybe you don't need to see your whole scene but you want to see a pretty good section of it while you're animating. You want to see more than what you've got set in short play. You want to see, okay, I want to see everything from 17 on. And it's always going to play from 17 on as you continue to shoot forward. And then, you know, you can move that along as you go. Um, another cool thing of the in the navigation line is that it shows you where the live view is. It's that little red dot. You can actually move the live view in drag and stop motion into the middle of your sequence, which is uh, something pretty cool in Dragon. I'm going to grab the X sheet here and I'm looking at the scene, we've got 30 frames shot. If I needed to reshoot frame 17, I could double click over that exposure and you see it moved the camera onto frame 17. Now if I look on my nav line, you'll see that it's showing that the live, which now it's going to look kind of funky because our live is totally in a different place, is right there in the middle of the scene. And you could reshoot that. Um, you can hit playback, which will play over it, and it does a crazy hop right there. But if you had to replace that frame um, and do some animation in there, you could keep hitting playback till you get it right. And then when you're done, go back into your X sheet, go to the end of the sequence, double click it out at the end. It's going to put your camera back out in the end of the sequence, your live view. So now we have the sequence back in order. I'm going to show you another really cool feature which is that you can use the nav line for copy, cut, and paste. So when you go to copy or cut, it's going to copy or cut based on the positions of your in and your out. So I'm going to try to make a little cycle here. I'm going to go to this settle there and then go to the settle there, which is the end. So it's most of the sequence. And I'm going to say copy, so Apple C for Mac. And it's going to copy those. This is a good time to have a cup of coffee, you know, handy, do some sipping. Okay, we're back. And we've copied those. It will paste wherever the playhead is. I'm going to put the playhead at the end. And I'm going to hit paste. It's going to ask me whether I want to insert or overwrite, or insert in reverse, or overwrite in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite in reverse. Another coffee break. One of the reasons why it takes a little time in Dragon to copy, cut, and paste is that it's actually copying you know, your raw files or your high-res JPEGs. It's not just copying proxies. Okay, so now I can grab this uh, live view and cycle through. Looks like this is going to work. I'm going to hit play. There you go. Got a little cycle happening. Boop, boop, and back. So those are the basic functions of the navigation line, the nav line in Dragon 2.0.